Greetings. This is a review of the Warriors from Cyborgtron uh, upgrade kit for War for Cybertron Megatron by Dreammaker. That's one. I picked this set up on TF Source because they were the only ones that I noticed that were selling it. It consists of some big forearm pieces with semi-articulated hands so that you can grip things because the hands that this thing comes with are kind of stupid. It comes with this mace thingy, this scythe thingy, um, and doesn't that open more? A spark crystal dealy, what's it? And I think there's something else in here. Oh yeah, some backpack thing. Um, I haven't transformed this guy into tank mode, so I don't remember what that does. I think this lets you store all these weapons on him in tank mode. Oh, where's his fusion cannon? Um, his fusion cannon can also mount right there. Or right here, I think. So this can go on him on tank mode, so he can have a big-ass blade on him. Great, I guess, but this guy's much better as a robot. Uh, what do I think of this set? Should we start with the good or the bad? Let's start with what I don't like. Uh, loose forearm joint, although that's the robot. That's the this guy. I've got to fix that. I don't like this. It is pointing down too much. It looks wrong to me. I don't know if I don't have it in all the way or what. Maybe it's that little nub that didn't get trimmed off enough, but it just doesn't look like it's in the right way. PL's review pointed out that this should be... There we go, we can adjust it so it points up a little bit more, but still... This does not want to go in the way I think it should. I assume this should be flat and level with that, but it keeps wanting to, to go in at an angle. So... If there's a trick to getting it in, I do not know it. And so it just ends up looking angled down to me, and it just doesn't look quite right. I guess that doesn't look too bad now that I've moved the gem, but I guess it doesn't matter because, bam, you can't see it anyway. Um, these forearm bits are kind of large, and they make him look even more like Popeye than he kind of already did. And since I don't like Popeye, that's done. I do not like how the fusion cannon is supposed to attach to these with this clear black square. Rather clear purple plastic square. It just kind of is supposed to wedge on there a lot. Or maybe it's just supposed to lightly rest there. I cannot get this to stay on. And I'm pushing pretty hard here, but this is not going to go on. It's not going to clip on. It's not going to friction on. I think there was a bad design there. It needs to have a lip like the War for Cybertron figures do. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a slight mushrooming on the edge there. And that's what clips into this little hole. And these are straight squares. Or walls so it doesn't it doesn't have any way to grab in there the other problem as you may have noticed is this pops off this doesn't have any notch inside of its little rectangular little pocket there so this mushroom bit does not clip in place it just rests over it and it's probably you know slightly pushing the plastic apart and, and yeah, this just this was a bad design. Um, they have stayed better on these last few days than when I first got them. The way this pushes around the fronts of the treads, it kept wanting to pop off, especially on this right hand. Um, but again, it's it's I guess it's mainly that I want him to have his fusion cannon on his arm, and it will freaking not go on. 
Look at how easy it goes on the actual figure. Click. Okay, maybe a little higher. There we go. Click. Satisfying. Strong click. Thing is not going to come off. Again, I need to tighten up that joint because he likes to shoot everything underslung. Now, this figure came with stupid hands. I'm only going to pull one half out, but you can see that it's not a normal 5mm peg. It can't hold anything. Rather, 5mm peg hole. So this gives you a nice little hand that can hold stuff. It's got um, two sections, a you know, pointer finger, and then the other three fingers are together, and it's really hard for me to move them so you can see. They've got a little hinge, which honestly I don't like because it means it's harder for him to hold stuff because it works loose. I would rather it was the the partial open molded hand that Hasbro has been using lately, but I guess it does okay. Just it could be a little tighter. Um, but it also has wrist articulation, which is nice. It's on a little ball, so it can spin around however it wants, or you want. But then that is also on a hinge, so it can pivot around. But again, it doesn't stay on the way I would like. Just not very tight, especially if you try and put the Fusion Cannon on afterwards. Yeah, this one was really bad as far as staying on. It just it's it's clearly making the plastic flex, and so it's it can spring right off. Yeah, I just barely touch it and it pops off. So that's not cool. I do kind of like the design the way it looks, except that it thickens his wrist by twice as much, his forearm rather. There's a guy on Shapeways who just recently designed all new forearms for this Megatron. And I haven't bought them yet, so I'm not entirely sure where it is. But you pop out either that pin or these two pins, or that pin, and you completely replace his forearm. But it's got cool hands for gripping things, and it looks better than this combination does. And... I believe this Fusion Cannon does not fit on that. He designed a new one that looks more like the in-game model. And then it has two pegs, so you can peg it in place. And I will get it as soon as I feel like spending 60 bucks because the farm upgrade is 30 and the cannon is 30 It looks really great, though. But I would have to paint it myself, which is a plus. Okay, so what do I like about this set? I do like this mace, mostly. It's kind of a nice design, but it's also kind of poorly executed. I don't know why, but these little bits can come off. And they're a rigid plastic, and that kind of hurts. So be careful. This slides up and down. Why? I, I don't know. All it really accomplishes is making the things pop out. I guess if you wanted a more simpler mace... I, I, there's no instructions with this set. No pictures on the box of what to do with it. So that's kind of lame. So I don't know if there's supposed to be some thing that you're supposed to be able to do with this that I am not being clever enough to figure out. Or, I just noticed, <coughs> this is WFC 2 u What is E? What is J? What is T? I don't know. So maybe there are other sets and maybe this will interact with them. Who knows? Speculation is fun, but pointless. So these are kind of not very tightly resting on there. There's no clipping, no tabbing. They just kind of rest on there. And so if you move it around when it bumps into these, they pop off. So that's kind of a drawback. But it's still kind of a cool looking mace. Um, you know what, now that I think about this backpack thing, I think you are supposed to be able to attach it to his back somehow. So that you can, it's got um, a circular clip here, so you can rest that in there. And I would, thought I recalled Pia showing off that you could mount it on his back in robot mode, but I don't see how, I don't remember. So maybe not. Maybe it's just for tank mode. But the one I really like is this 
entirely big ass scythe. I mean, it's almost as tall as he is. I have him crouching a little bit. But it's a big scythe. And it's going to hurt if it cuts you. So, yeah. if you can get it in these articulated hands, which again bug me. And hey, look, it popped off. There, holding it in its articulated hands, but with my floppy elbow joint. You see why I'm having problems with this set. That's okay, I have another Megatron. This is Darkness Megatron from the Arms Micron line. And I have my issues with him as well, but I like how the side looks with him. And honestly, I am happy with the set for the scythe. That big thing is cool. Plus, being translucent purple, it rather matches the translucent purple bits on this Darkness Megatron. Um, I actually think I'm going to try and sell these bits and this and the spark chamber thing, if spark crystal thing, if, if that interests somebody, you know, I'll, I will sell these pieces. But I'm going to keep the side, then I'm going to keep this mace bit because it also doesn't look too bad. Why does this Megatron not have a bicep swivel? That is bogus. Uh, start transforming him to get... I haven't played with this guy much. I bought him for his Microns, mostly. And all of the chrome looks really good in that breast metal. And Anyway, so Dream Maker uh, Warriors for, from Cyborgtron upgrade kit. Much better on on a Prime Megatron with his awesome weapons because these forearms are sadly not worth much. I basically paid $30 for two weapons and got as a bonuses forearms that don't stay on and a dark spark thingy that I'll rarely see because I'll have it covered up with his chest. Isn't that fun? Well, thanks for watching. There was this other little piece in the package that I was ignoring. This circle pegs into that. And then that square plugs onto his back. And thusly, he has a thing that can hold his scythe and the mace and the fusion cannon when in robot mode. There you go.